Hi guys, welcome to another Dark Side Shorts for RAF Fairford. It seems to be fairly busy here this week. We've had uh, F-35 flybys. We've had the KC-135 come and go from RAF Middenhall. And we looks like we've got an American one on the runway at the moment over there. Parked up and I will skim over in a minute. We've got the KC-135. And if you look into the distance, way into the distance, let me do the zoom. There's the uh, U2 with its mission pod attached, parked up and ready to go. And it does look like there's some more stuff parked up on the tarmac at the other side of the airfield. So we'll go have a look at those in a minute. Now you might be wondering why there's so many planes here at the moment. <laughs> Obviously, we've had the uh, problems with the with the uh, B1 Lancer. And, that's, and it's still parked up and it hasn't been repaired as far as I know. But there are also a major RAF exercise on the go. Which has obviously seen a lot of planes flying around here, Staverton, and from Bryce Norton as well doing training. So I'll relocate in a second, but yeah, we've got the KC 135, the Lockheed, Lockheed plane. That's usually used as an air to air refueler if I'm remembering my details right. And over in the distance, spinning around, got the U2 with its mission pod parked out on the tarmac, so maybe that's gone. gone. Going somewhere. Well, maybe that's going somewhere, maybe it's coming back later. We'll have to wait and see, but yeah, that's it for now. Hi guys, back again. Just thought I'd stop to try and get a bit of a clearer look at the UT. Yeah, she's parked up there. There's the cars around. I uh, can't tell if she's going somewhere or if she's come back and is getting ready to go back into the hangars, but yeah, we'll have a look around the other side now and see if we can see anything else out on the runways. Well guys, we're still at Fairford, and this looks like the B1 Lancer that was here previously, 10 or, I think it was 10 or 12. There is a bit of activity about, but I can't see any obvious evidence she's going anywhere. She's, she seems to be in roughly the same position as we saw her last, last time. But yeah, that's, we'll pro that seems to be it for the plane-wise today. Lots of planes parked up, but not much in the terms of activity when it comes to coming or going. Well, if I see anything else while I'm here, I'll let you know. But yeah, plane wise, that does seem to be it. Well, guys, that's just the KC 135 from a different angle. I was hoping to see something else from this side of the base, but there's not much here. There's a lot of noise about, which could be an A400 by the sound of it. I haven't had a chance to check on flight radar. But yeah. That's it for the minute. That over there is obviously the control tower. Just back away. We're obviously at the back end of the base today, as I showed you earlier. We've got the big old B1 Lancer over there through the chainmail. Okay guys, one last little thing before we go. This is part a mark of the CLH, CLH pipeline system where it goes into Hereford, formerly known as the GPSS. We've gone to the depots before, and this one, I, as you can see, there's more markers in the distance, crosses the Gloucester uh, Swindon Road, the main dual carriageway, and if you look for it, you will eventually see the markers there. Right, that is going to be it for today, I do believe, so don't forget to like, share and subscribe, and I will see you again soon.